Hello, I'm Mrs. Charity. Welcome to the Glorious Heritage Overview of Catholic Church History. Discover the amazing story of the Church together as a family as you color and paste your way through the timeline and printables, which you can find on our website. And now, let's move into our topic for today. Hello, I'm Mr. Charity, and welcome to the Glorious Heritage Catholic History video series. Today's topic is number 120, the later Protestant leaders. If you look on your timeline and summary question sheets, you'll notice that we are in the green time period which we have called revolt. If you don't have a timeline or summary question sheets, you can find them on our website. Can I ask you a question? How many different kinds of Protestant churches do you think there are right now? Protestantism started with Martin Luther when he broke away from the Catholic Church in the 1500s. Soon after, other Protestants like John Calvin decided that Luther was wrong and he started his own Protestant church known as Calvinism. Now because Protestants believe the heresy that the Catholic Church is not the church founded by our Lord, then they don't have a pope or the pope to teach them the truth and to unite them in their beliefs. Protestants reject the papacy. They say that the Bible is all they need and that when they read it, they can decide for themselves what it means and what is true. But instead of all believing the same things, Protestants disagree among themselves and ended up splitting apart and forming new and different Protestant churches. So to answer the question I asked you about how many Protestant churches there are today, would you believe that there are over 47,000 different kinds of Protestant churches? Some believe in the Holy Trinity and some do not. Some believe that you must be baptized and some do not. None of them believe that the Catholic Church is founded by our Lord. Anyway, those 47,000 different kinds of Protestant churches disagree with each other about all kinds of theological issues and beliefs. That is because they are not guided by the Holy Ghost, like the Catholic Church is. Now, in comparison, there is only one Catholic Church. Yes, there are many different church buildings and parishes, but they are all part of the same one Catholic Church. All Catholics believe the same doctrines and dogmas, unlike the Protestants who disagree about all kinds of important issues and beliefs. All Catholics believe that Our Lady is the Mother of God. All Catholics believe that the Holy Eucharist is our Lord's body, blood, soul, and divinity. All Catholics believe there is no salvation outside of the Catholic Church. All Catholics believe a true Pope is the Vicar of Christ, and so much more. Catholics are united in belief because the Catholic Church is guided by the Holy Ghost, and also because, in order to be Catholic, one must believe what the Church teaches. Now, in past videos, we talked about some of the first major Protestant heresies and groups. Martin Luther started the Lutheran Protestant Church. John Calvin started the Calvinist Protestant Church. John Knox started the Calvinist Protestant Church in Scotland. King Henry VIII started the Anglican Protestant Church. But as the decades and centuries passed, these groups split up into other, many other Protestant groups. For instance, in England, there were the Quakers and the Puritans. And once the British colonized North America, their Protestant heresies spread to America as well. In the 1700s, a man named John Wesley, an Anglican Protestant in England, started a new Protestant church called Methodism. His Methodist Protestant church quickly spread all over America. In fact, when you drive around your town, you're sure to notice a Methodist church. Other later Protestant heretics in America include Jonathan Edwards and George Whitefield. They were part of a major movement in America during the 1700s called the Great Awakening. But ultimately, it's very important to remember that none of these Protestant churches will lead you to heaven. They were all heretics that deny the teachings of the Catholic Church, which is the only church founded by our Lord and the only church in which one can go to heaven. Only in the Catholic Church can your sins be forgiven in confession. Only in the Catholic Church can you receive our Lord in Holy Communion. Only the Catholic Church teaches us nothing but the truth because it is guided by the Holy Ghost. 
Okay, here is Mrs. Charity to tell us more about the many different kinds of Protestant groups there are in America. Hello, I am Mrs. Charity. Mr. Charity just told you that there are over 47,000 different kinds of Protestant churches. I can never tell you all of them because this video would go on for hours and hours, but I will tell you 20 of them just so you can see a little bit of how Protestants all split apart after they left the Catholic Church. Okay, here are 20. Southern Baptist Convention, United Methodist Church, Church of God in Christ, National Baptist Convention, Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, National Baptist Convention of America, Assemblies of God, Presbyterian Church, African Methodist Episcopal Church, National Missionary Baptist Convention of America, Lutheran Church Missouri Synod, Episcopal Church, Churches of Christ, Pentecostal Assemblies of the World, African Methodist Episcopalian Zion Church, American Baptist Churches USA, Christian Church, Disciples of Christ, United Church of Christ, Free Methodist Church, Wesleyan Church. Welcome back. Wow, that is a lot of different kinds of Protestants. They all believe different heresies. Now, let me read you a poem about the Protestants. When Luther broke from the Catholic fold, a tale of many churches soon was told. Calvin followed with his own decree, creating Calvinism, a new heresy. Protestants split, each with their own view, forming sects and groups, quite a few. Some denied the Trinity, some baptisms need, each one planting a different creed. But the Catholic Church, guided by the Holy Ghost, stands united from coast to coast. One faith, one doctrine, all in accord, believing in Christ our risen Lord. While Protestants argue and disagree, the Catholic Church remains in unity. In truth and faith we firmly stand, because the Holy Ghost's guiding hand. Well, that's all for today. Come back next time, and we'll talk about the French colonies and missions in the New World. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new today. Visit our website, www.gloriousheritagecartoons.com, where you can find more educational supplements, cartoons, books, and printables. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, to get notified of our latest updates and videos. And if you like our work and want to support us, you can make a donation on our website or on Patreon. We really appreciate your generosity and kindness. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And see you next time.